we got some exciting news from Japan where they are going to save you from the bears with some rock music. So they're going to prevent you from bear attacks via rock songs. Authorities in the Iwate Prefecture hope that they can keep citizens safe with a cautionary rock song. I'm really curious to hear this rock song. Is it out yet? I wonder. We'll see what the article says right now. As bear sightings have been rising recently, in 2020, there were 3,300 bear sightings reported. I love this article because it doesn't really, it just says that their sightings reported. It doesn't say like they're being attacked and killed. It could lead to that. It could. They're very defensive. So here's an article that is brought to you by The Guardian. I love this title. Roar, roar, roar! <laughs> Japan rolls out rock music against bear attacks. <laughs> Authorities hope rock and roll song will help provide people with the e weight breakfast sure. Um, stay safe as number of bear sightings rises. So a black bear and its cub, aw, in Japan. They look cute until they rip your face off. Can rock and roll keep people safe from bear attacks? One Japanese region is hoping so and has commissioned a cautionary anthem warning residents about the threat of the Yersin inhabitants. It pretty much just says there's a huge sighting where they have been attacked and even killed residents. Bears are common across Japan and regularly spark frantic hunts when they venture into town. So they're hunting people. Hunting people. Wow. Spiking a number of bear sightings in the rural nor northern Japan has been met with a novel response. Uh, the U.S. Prefecture government has commissioned a rock song that will be belted across the region. That is awesome. So, so you think bear cubs are cute. The song's lyrics begin. <laughs> <laughs> as screaming guitars and pounding drums play in the background. I want to hear this song. <laughs> Where can I find this song? <laughs> Discard that naive way of thinking. Nearby that cub is a parent bear. And it'll suddenly attack you. Roar, 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 roar. It'll suddenly attack you. <sighs> Amazing. Amazing. The track was written and performed by a pair of local... Sexagenarian genarian rockers? What the heck is a sexagenarian rocker? And offers sobering advice <laughs> such as never turn your turn your back and run away. And trying to play dead doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't no no they're and they're absolutely right, because bears will sometimes wait for other animals to kill something and then they'll scare that animal away and take away the dead animal that was killed. I, I can't remember where I read that from. It's probably completely inaccurate, but let's pretend it's true. Uh, uh, the singer Yuzin is 69, said such advice served him well as w on one occasion he countered a bear near a field. It was very frightening uh, when just when one just appears before you, he told the AFP. Grandparents told me years ago that if you ever encounter a bear, don't turn around and just back away slowly. There were more than 3,300 bear sightings in any weight prefecture in 2020, up from 700. That is a jump from 3,300 to 700. Insane. Authorities hope the song, which is playing at the local roadside shopping centers until the October 31st, will teach people how to stay safe. Uh, the songwriter uh, said he originally wrote it as a blues number, but Taguchi, who has played in bands for the past 50 years, gave it an up-tempo rock twist when he added his hollowing vocals. Oh, please tell me there's screams on this. I really hope there's screams on this. It said that the bears are timid creatures, so I think if one heard the song playing outside, it would run away. <laughs> That's the power of rock and roll. Anyways, the full article's here. Very interesting. I love it. I love it. Let's Let's have a rock song. We should do that, government. Come on. All the governments across the world, if we have an issue, we have an issue, we need to create awareness, like, you know, no smoking or something. Well, let's let's commission, you know, bands to do rock songs and make and make some bands some money, you know, so they could support themselves. I think that's a great idea. What do you guys think? Governments backing bands?